that might be our shot or a pot. I'm gonna respect that. It's up to them to give us something to talk about. Yes. And if they don't, then we'll talk about whatever we want. Yeah. Like quaaludes. And platypuses. Platitudes. BRN falls back from the ramp room, but that is a ruse. He wants them to panic. Or they want him to panic, rather. Great jump. Yeah, they try to get down into the A main split. It's towards the A site. That big look to sink their teeth. Oh, Exit needs the reload, and he's going to get that in. Gate up close and personal with Keto beyond. Yes, sir. Keto looking for that 1v2. Now he knows there's a point oh, up in... I just hope for MIBR's mental health and for their sake of, you know, I want their experience here at Blast to be at least fun. Blast and, is always fun. And I don't think a 14-1 is the most amount of fun. So let's go. Like you said, Operation Don't Get Ecoed. Featuring Jonah Hill and Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> She is able to open up. That's Keto down for the count. Yell will have a nice little angle. Oh, man. It's <laughs> choked out by Searson. That was a fantastic shot. We're going to need three angles on that, Jamie. Now, will they get bested? Look how close. They're going to they're gonna flash this. Watch. That's a fall miss in the hands of Gade. You know, it's like a, such, a, oh, such an instant flash, upgrade. Actually. But they're going to go for the dual peak, and oh, if he oh, checks the ladder, oh, he's oh. done. Ooh, he gets one. But again, that Fomus in the hands of Big could spell disaster. D-I-S-A-S-T-E-R. Disaster. Shiz attacks from the back, and now it's good. They've recovered, they've stabilized, and Les Gade comes in with every... Guys, spread it. Mm -hmm. Sound a bit weird, but... Insta-kill versus the bomb carrier. There's a gift. Here you guys go. Delivery. Tries to get aggressive through the squeaky, and that's going to be his end. But look at the HP here for what's left of Big. Three quarters of their players very softened up. Yell playing the shadow advantage and anticipating the peak. But, you know, maybe they get beyond him. Maybe they challenge this A site, pick that bomb back up. Or maybe it's all a ruse, a distraction for Searson to slip beyond the heaven. Nobody's looking. Oh, man. Awkward. So take like four headshots from this distance, but oh. they are just not looking at him oh. at all. Oh, my oh. God. He's got a lineup. Let's see what... Wait a sec. Hold on! Whoa! <laughs> like every CT is here. And then he dies. Okay. That was all for nothing. So we're right back to this very boring anti-eco. Hmm. What a roller coaster that was. That was Seth Rogen. Did you know that he took that role in, uh, actually, hold on, this is, we'll, this, right. we'll hold on. That, that conversation can continue in the next one, but this is actually a fun round. One where there are guns in abundance. And immediately Searson goes hunting for an opening outdoors. So this is Big's chance to really kind of like set the precedent back to what we had on Mirage, which was just that total one-sided game, no chance, whatever. You know, this is a way to just chalk up the previous three round wins to nothing other than economic advantage. But it's up to them to take back control early. They do take control of everything outside. Yeah, look how they circle the defense right now. MIBR, very passive. And it's all about these outposts. You want to find them with enough time to spare that you can get something going, and then these guys can turn into lurks afterwards. And if you know someone's in big garage, it's a thorn in the side. You, you, you kind of want to deal with it. And you can see that the CT start to scurry to get back some control. And so far, MIBR have just been quite liberal about giving away some of this space. But at a certain point, you got to put some pressure on. And now Big went outside. They've already got your ramp player down. They're now approaching on outside after ramp is dropped because now Tizian doesn't have to worry about that threat. But, oh, the approach comes. That's an insane reaction from Tizian. Knack had a small advantage there but a beautiful adjustment. He gets the kill with a little bit of HP remaining. Drops bomb, slows down the play, but it's picked right back up. It's gonna have to be Shiz to make the difference. Just, and that's just not gonna happen. That's just a perfect round from Big. I mean, nice and clean. You just gotta look at, you know, it, is kind of, it actually is kind of cool to see how much of a difference there is in some of these rounds because the amount of map control there that MIBR gave is one thing, but how Big used it was perfect. I mean, they were 
carefully approaching from all these different choke points and able to trade in positions that you would never be able to expect, you know? They had Tizian outside, yeah, he could have lost his duel, but then they had the uh, chance to go back to ramp if they wanted to. Timings in this game, uh, of course, at this level of CS, but you've got to find those moments where it is time to attack and then go for it. But I really fear that, especially when you play against a team that's done this many reps at this level, that if you play a defaulty style like this, you're, you're specifically asking to lose. Like, if you do throw in a little bit of randomness, you actually, funnily enough, have more of a chance. This could be a nice change-up. Yell playing back in the CT could have stopped some kind of an outer wrap, but instead we get this misdirection and redirection from Big. Rather challenging lower. Knack, man, you gotta drop that smoke and get your gun out instantly. Oh, and he just barely gets back behind the cover. Low HP, and it's not enough. Taps in, that's nasty. Luckily, Shiz is here to at least chop one off at the back end of this train. But the pain remains for MIBR. Bomb will be planted on this site lower, but BRN able to get Gade instantly. The moment his hands come Yo. off of that bomb, BRN gets his head clean off and another kill. But Skeeto caught what on up Earth? on a ramp. Now it's going to have to be Tabson. And while he clears out the control room, he already knows that Yell is over here towards ramp on incredibly low HP. Oh. Despite Keto dying, that A player would have been spotted. Tabson looking for a big clutch, tries to go back beyond decon, and that exists on the B site without control of it. He's got some kills exchanged outside there. Looks like two frags around this smoke. Tabson looking to crank the dial. Oh, but then it's above Mini that Gade executes Shiz. Shiz was much more preoccupied with the thought of these two players crossing behind Smoke. Kind of gets drawn to the wrong flame. So he ends up burnt. And MIBR, two versus four now. If not, we've got a back and forth exchange of round wins that could very well leave MIBR with bottomed out coffers. But, all things considered, okay, if you go down to B right now, Big have this round win, right? Secret to B, round's over. Ramp to B, round's over. If they try to go back for another one of these, like, heaven into A plays, I do like that we've got a guy up in rafters mm -hmm. and exit down beneath him. Because exit safe, doesn't have to look up. Just needs to control mini squeaky hut. I think right now, as we can see, they're actually weakest to hut um, of all positions, because that's absolutely not being watched, and then the player in rafters is a threat. Or B. Um, yeah, I mean, if they just walk all the way down, which looks like... They can do. No yeah. rotations have come out from MIBR. Not a single noise has been made from Big. I, I respect the stack. I mean, they have decent spots, and they don't have a situation where they need to respond to anything. Yep. It's just a total mind game from Big, and they're hoping that MIBR don't stack lower, but they're correct about the gamble. They played it as silently as they could. And MIBR just, you know, set up here, save their guns. Again, kind of low, so... Low on money. And they can be hunted by big if they want to, because then it just makes the next rounds easier. Like, certainly, you know, there is some incentive there, even if they don't have the best economic situation possible. I want to say it looks like they're going to get away with it, but the possibility of Gage just sweeping into the A site is still there. I feel like he's, yeah, I feel like, like he, he's been waiting, man. He's always just on attack dog mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to. He's foaming. But uh, I think his handler's got him on a leash. Bomb pops. Yep. Oh, we're going to get a mini jump. Oof, slick. Going for it? No, he's not going for it. Just waiting to see if this, this position you get up here. You see if anyone tucks into red or crosses yep. wide really quickly. And then you can uh, punish with the op or just nade it, molly it, whatever it is. BRN is kind of floating here, which is totally fine. And he doesn't see anything just yet. But of course, that top silo is about to become a threat. And now he's receded into this position. This is fine. I mean, they look like they're about to approach outside. Yes, it's a nice spot to be on the stairs. Of course, he will likely get mollied in this position, but he also has a smoke. And even if he smokes the molly doesn't peek, they have to respect that he can. Gade proving to be a master of the mini plays at the moment. Like, that movement was as perfect as it could get. The speed that he got up there to begin with, just to make sure there was, you know, any cross visible. Excellent drop. He's got the lineups. 
And Searson's got oh, the opening kill. They just watched it afterwards. Yep, exactly. And as that was being watched, everybody else started their flood forward. So Big already have full control of Hell with the potential to challenge as they please. See this weakness on the backside, especially. God, I feel bad for MIBR because as a team who's like maybe not the most comfortable on nuke, I feel like outer to hell to B plays most are just, it's such an awkward thing to try and get your hands paranoia on. Paranoia just sets Dude. in so hard when you're just sitting upstairs like, where are, where could they be? And they've actually just done an entire lap around the site. Yeah, the mind rot is real. And like, why wouldn't you go lower? And this spot's great. Great move. Plus, Searson has his eyes on vent while they went ramp. So these are only two A's down. Like, this is an exact same situation as the previous round when we had two CTs trying to save inside of a site this time there was four players still up right you can consider that four guys is basically your default yeah you lose outer but they had they had like no protocol to try and hold off B and if you're just gonna gamble that maybe big come into this a site if that's your you know yeah. then so, okay you're grasping at straws so a natural a natural thing to do of course is to take over lobby control when you know that a team is outside mm -hmm. you do have to be able to know that maybe they're feeling comfortable that if they push lobby they're gonna get punished because big are faking a bit but what we've seen so far is big have said okay we take outside control we commit to this like uh the hell to ramp or whatever so if they start to catch on to that it covers two of the most important post plant positions for the T's. But again, they just they just have to learn they have to, know that. They have to learn that people are outside, yeah. So uh, the, the, it's just it's just the aggression needs to be turned up a bit for MIBR. Well, they're gonna try this one. A little bit of a ramp aggression, a micro aggression that gets absolutely plucked apart. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. With that threat dealt with, ramp room completely open. That's a little awkward. Searson just the disservice by playing without information. Now we did have a couple of rounds. It was just like one rifle and then like a couple pistols behind it. So don't want to be hypercritical. But this is the one where they have all the tools. Yeah. And sure enough, it's a different look from Big, right? If this was the time that they decide to get aggressive in lobby, then it's the end of them. Four members of Big straight out the gate. Nice oh, grenade. Oh, that oh gets I, countered by the damn, shot. Like, damn, you still rather have the kill. <laughs> and they do 150 it. damage to that grenade. Whew, tries to go for a second outside. Oh man, that's at brutal. the very least that gets stopped. But that grenade could still come we got a back to spell coming. disaster. Yeah, come on. Knack's gonna be burned forward. Bring it. And he gets gate. Now Searson and Tizian, 51 and 20. Look how perfect that Molly is. They can't even open the door. Not until now. With the bomb already planted. We've got a T over towards the dark. That's Searson op posted. Oh no! Knack just burns alive to Searson's Molly. Self immolation? Yeah, but he didn't really get his point across. And that's the whole reason. Yeah. So it's instantly a save call. I'm very curious to get that replay on Knack. How, how does how or why does he die? Can it be a 1G if you purposefully die in someone else's Molotov? Maybe he was just I mean, too afraid to go for the retake. Chat's going to say 1G anyway. That's true. Yeah, what happened there? I thought that was going to be a nest. doesn't even see him on the screen. I like that ocean clip where he runs to A-site cash. Flashes himself. Flashing A. That'd be sick. <laughs> Legendary ocean clips out there. Canada's all-time great. One time, uh, well... You hold that thought. I hold that thought. Because we're going to get a secret peek, perhaps. Mm, no, Knack burned back. Yeah, he'll chill. Yeah, it's, uh, right now, it's already at the point where, you know, that might be almost scared of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And they don't have great guns again. Oh, Shiz has an interesting position. Yeah, I like this. Behind I mean, easy. he's always good for, like, a super explosive play every once in a while. He, he definitely has a mechanical ability. Let's see what he can do here. Esagaze. They could definitely catch him. He's not cautious, but oh man, it's like you could see it. It's just going to boil down to the timing, it seems, There's because he's tasked with holding party. way too much. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, will the scope be seen? Uh, oh, no way. That's unfriendly. Oh my lord. Now he only has 32 health, and they obviously know he's up here. Look he's got like this, three man. weapons the crawl trained of the on him. He's coming towards him. 
done, dude. Oh. That's brutal, man. Big wait of so long just to see for anything else. And, and then on, they realize that they must be playing for some info somewhere. And unlike so many other rounds, they actually still have Kitos playing inside of Lobby. So if we were to get one of those moments where we had the CTs push in, it would be caught. They will use Heaven to attempt an A hit, and Exit lays down the lead. Tries to lay down. What a well, shame, what a shame. Quite unfair, I'd say. <laughs> We've got Big on fire. What was a 4-1 start for MIBR has been turned upside down. Flipped over. Rotated 127 degrees. Kama Sutra. It's important to be flexible. <laughs> Prius taught me that. Pretty wheelbarrow due to work today. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bigger being very patient with this T side. Gotta appreciate the respect. Yep, textbook CS. Nice. I think they recognize that they have the potential for just a nice, clean, easy 2 0 this evening. And if they start kind of getting into the, the muddier gameplay, then that's where MIBR could have a chance. Okay. They're down to wrath. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're taken upstairs. Sometimes this can turn into a, a ramp hit, and they yep. slow it down. First two mollies, they bait out some attacks, and yes, they are going to take it over to ramp. Yell up to bat. What can he do? First shot is good. Of course, they molly him out of his position. Uh, right into the scope of Searson. Man, there is no rotation there from heaven. They were oh, very committed to the A site. They messed something up right there. Big just abused that fully. Oh, but Keto's on, the, just on the floor out. of A. <gasps> and Shiz is upper. Two rotated downstairs. Back this and come back to help. Will... Now Shiz just needs to lock off the A site. Yeah, but they, if they go squeaky, then they can stop the vent rotation. He's just got to hold it. Ooh, That's it. Okay. Let's go, Shiz. Four seconds remaining for Gate to try and kill all four players because time's not on his side. Now he just needs to serve your ramp player after Yell has had that much pressure put on him, but nobody for came sure. to help. Oof. And they're going to start off with an opening kill. Yeah. This CT side's not over. It is not over. Gabe loves to do this, by the way. He literally just draws everything on the map. Oh, the leash does that a little bit, too. But just in spawns. This is how he basically just is always aiming. Something you, like you see it, and then it's just... <laughs> so that's all you can focus on. It's like shadow boxing. Yeah. There's definitely some merit to it. <laughs> Those, that's what it would sound like if moving your crosshair... That's what it sounds like in Gade's mind right yeah. now. Atta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now he's got to fight. Now, this is no longer shadow boxing. This is the real deal. And he's trying to join with the pinch. They've used this. Oh, oh no! Man. That exact same peak previously. <laughs> the boost. Oh, and it looked like he was just going to get out of position. Now Gade's able to activate into the A site. He's got a back turn to him. And he has full info on two CTs. But because Whoa. one gets into the hut, that player's now going to have a little bit of cover to work with. It's not an ideal fight, but Exit's still able to come up with it. And they have like three seconds to spare here. With him being pushed into lobby, the bomb plant will be offered over, but he's just lost his teammate above him. So Tizian coming off of this will be swarmed. Ends up on the wrong side of the railing, has to jump back to correct, and then gets punished. Mac just so fully flashed. That's a solar flare as far as he's concerned. And a 5v3 very quickly out of spawn here for Big. Now, they're going back to what I think started this T side off, which was just sheer numbers outside. You know, maybe they're playing with a bit too much respect, leaving these rounds down to the final 15, 20 seconds. Yeah, that's true. They decide to crank the tempo, pick up the pace, and it's their party. 5v3 at the minute 10 mark. 
BRN's going to look to take back oh. the numbers here. He makes his move. Tizian decided not to jump all the way up, but that reload was certainly heard. Oh my god, that's He falls down on him, gets the kill. As exit simultaneously frags Keto, so we've got a 3v3. The advantage that Big established nets them nothing here until Searson takes back the numbers. They were able to get down into the B site, and that's the challenge always for like an inexperienced team on Nuke or a team who's inexperienced with Nuke, is at what point and with what route do you go from A to B? You know, that is the difficulty of this. And this is an example of them just not being prepared to stop the B hit at all. Yeah, as you're saying, this is the, the, those rotations can be so... Those duels can be very 50-50. You know, to make sure the other team continues to be scared of you, but Big have been coming through with so much respect, even after streaking a little bit. But at the same time, you've got that quick 4-0 for my MIBR and five or four of the last five rounds in the beginning. Yell, opening kill here on Searson. So he opens that door for himself. Only gets sent back inside. And with that op down, they can't get that ramp pick again. Dead on. They need that ramp pick. And additionally, we've already got somebody downstairs in Yell. Which I think is something that's afforded to you when you're able to get the 5v4 out the gate. Mm. You know, you want to make sure you can posture straight out of spawn to stop what could be an aggressive A play. There's nothing worse on nuke than, than trying to, you know, position yourself in secret or double ramp only to lose to nothing but a, a headstrong push on A. So he quickly holds Squeaky, finds this frag, but moving that player off is still going to prime big for an advantageous A hit. It's just, you know, they've got the numbers advantage right now. It's a 3v2 on site, but positionally, I do like this setup. Because nobody's coming through Squeaky, I like this setup. One above the hut, one in the back of the bomb site. Neither of those Molotovs are going to have any impact, but the player does drop. And that's a clearing of the guy straight above. Oh. Nice spray from Knack. He lines him up, knocks him down, and it falls onto Tapson. Oh my. All is fair in love and war. Another bit of hyper aggression for the vent drop. Oh, Keto gets caught. Head I like it. I like it. I don't like this. Big old gap in the smoke. I think they got interrupted there. Yeah, nothing will halt your push quicker than that. But with a flash, they do manage to move all four remaining players from big quickly down into the B site. And if they don't give up an audio cue, I don't think MIBR have absolute certainty to the numbers here. Yes. And if they just stay posted... Oh, okay, I thought stay posted for this peak that seems to be coming. BRN instead finds them going for the next step of their execution. And with the fire, that's going to buy him a little bit of time to potentially have a teammate come over. Sure enough, Shiz allocating himself to the back of the site. BRN waits for this peak and nails it. Looks like MIBR are sticking the landing. As we get to the end of their CT side, they are putting up numbers. Four of the first five and four of the last five going the way of MIBR, assuming they close this final round. Just get it over the line. Come on. It's only Tizian. But it's Tizian with a bit of time. Flash to work with as well. That could be his chance to pop out control, fight back sight. Hope the AWP is blind, but that's not the case. So let's see what MIBR have to bring on the T side. And maybe they were a little bit more prepared for a nuke than anyone expected. I am ready to be pleasantly surprised. Let's go. Surprised if you're launders. Okay. BRN going to challenge around mini. Oh. And I feel like that position was just given to him. Mm. So there shouldn't be an element of panic here. Yeah, they just took the, the ramp push. Yeah, they're just boxing in. MIBR. They're so comfortable just surrounding and not putting too much pressure. And they got a nice spot here in Squeaky with some defense. Oh, oh that's just a beautiful. Oh my oh, god. Oh, wow, that's just beautiful. Oh, that's that exquisite. was clean. That's exquisite. That's, that is a... I love that outpost with the vent. Browns, when they lose pistols, they're capable and competent with Deeks. It was the first round they won uh, on Mirage. Tech 9 round. Also, shout out to BRN, came in as like the lowest rated player or whatever, but he was one of the highlights in that first half. Definitely the, the king of control. He had a little trouble on ramp itself. That has to be noted. Yeah. It's the name of the trouble with Searson, but once he actually rotated down lower, did a good job of staying alive, getting some impact there. Yeah, close that door. We out. 
keeping squeaky smoke is key. And uh, again, uh, MIVR we saw on Mirage had a little bit of trouble when, you know, their plan was specifically targeted or realized yeah. in keeping it fluid, keeping pressure up, and trying to be dynamic while they keep going back to their plan. And big, once they got a, a whiff of it, they were able to delay so, so long and make everything seem obvious. Ooh. Oh, great refrag. But taps in. Cheeky position in the deeper corner. It's <laughs> team killed by a oh. Searson who... Pull up. Full strength MIBR. Let's see. Fast on squeaky. Or, this is oh, where... no, they're just... Okay, no, they weren't. Again, you know, the middle of that last half was definitely uh, bigs to take. Oh. Saw flashes of success from MIBR. They set themselves up from this T side, and let's see it now that it starts. They're downstairs. Okay, the vents will be heard now. But yes. yeah, they made a lot of progress. Will the cross get punished? No on one. A, a second goes down. 4v3 now. Bomb is look who's here. Keto gonna just creepy crawl his way above the smoke, above the bomb. He's gonna hear these repositions as well. So he's trying to convey all the info he can. He knows there's one in decontamination and he knows there's one on control side because the doors and the footsteps. That much has been gathered. But what? Uh... <laughs> Let Jesus take they the wheel, like he said. Oh, they all just they? like out. I, oh, I saw oh my it. When, God. When, when, they were, right, yeah. when they were crossing outside, I saw Tabson kind of like stutter a bit. Okay. The big house the just lost. Ludes. The Quaaludes. <laughs> Am I melting, man? <laughs> oh, they're back. Dude, oh, I no was way like, they came back. Tabson. I know he's still playing CS that much. There's just coaching in Valorant, actually, I think. Is he? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> NACS is dead. Yeah. We're back into the action. Thank you for your patience, folks. An unfortunate situation for Big. Um, a God-given gift for MIBR. But Keto, looking to take it all away. <laughs> Two kills off of the Desert Eagle. I love that position inside of Secret Stairs. I feel like it's one of those spots you never really check. Yeah. You, like, always don't check. Yeah. It's like you're like, I know I'm going to check this round. You just don't. You fail yourself. I feel like it almost doesn't exist until somebody's there. Searson's able to get the damage off yeah. and survive. So now we've got 30 HP on both Exit and Yell. Oh, Searson throws himself into the flames. Let's see if that comes back to bite him. This is too strong. No way. And if you don't clear this the first time, you're, hell, you're for sure not clearing it the second time. How often is there another person in there? Never. Oh, never at all. Unless you're playing oh, against Big. There's some dude on top of the silo waiting to shoot you in the back from the heavens. And then the other guy's watching outside, too. But Exit's watching it? So if Tabson pops it's his the, head up at the, the wrong place... It's the that got a plant, not them. They've got 30 seconds to spare. Look how perfectly careful they are. Ooh, nice. Oh. Exit's gonna take it back a little bit. There's an opening. Run. Run, brother. At a distance. Taps into Tizian. Go B, go B! Oh. Pushing silo this round. Yep. Okay, I'm flanking ramp this yes. round. At least you'd be calling everything. Let's you know what's go. good? I like to go down ramp, then come up secret. I do everything I want, and it's up to my team to just deal with me. Right now, MIBR, all they want is a bomb plant, maybe a bit more, but that's not going to happen. Keto, MP9 over the Tech 9, and the bomb is spray through smoke, tizzy and spit and fire. As the 5v3 is found. Ah, they were this close, you know, Keto so low. That vent drop almost connected. If they, even if it gets away with one HP, he is such a menace for them. And even though a man slips down ramp, BRN was called out. The possibility of that play was already forewarned. And Knack looking forlorn as the only shadowy figure left in this 1v5. There's one more. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Enough. All right. Looking for something a bit quicker. Smokes will be interrupted because of the Molotov. Oh, my what? God. He was on top of the blue garage. If you... Okay, it's uh, one thing to be on the side of the secret stairs. It's another thing to play on the roof of this garage entrance. The people who go up there are a certain type of people. And it's not the type of people I can approve of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unapprovable people. And I like all sorts of people. Yes. But not those ones. Most of them, not those ones, though. I do have a line to draw. And Tizian can't fight that phase in the smoke, especially it's that dead-on angle. Mail had a small disadvantage. 
You know, people being hyper aware though, with anyone moving in the smoke, it's not always guaranteed. So it's understandable that you can sit and wait sometimes and watch these smokes, but yeah, in that spot, Tizian definitely got a few bullets out before Yell responded. They're working with a minute amount of options. Mm -hmm. BRN has gotten himself down secret, but I believe there's somebody over towards Decon, yeah. So he can go to control, but Big will be very aware of this. And obviously you gotta either crack open the windows or swing the doors. So now that that's happened, there's gonna be some sort of a response. They just want them to shuffle their feet so that these other two terrorists can attack A, but I see bomb outside of lobby. You gotta go get bomb. 15 seconds. Oh, they just realized. Now they gotta make noise, yeah. Oh, Yikes, but they're they're not player CT vent. <gasps> BRN just killed oh, Gate downstairs. Ramp. It's this guy in the back of the A site. All he's gonna have, have to, to do is stop kill. bomb, and there's not oh, even there's time. Oh, 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 no, they had everything. They had everything they needed. Empt. And instead, it falls absolutely flat. And that's the kind of situation that just siphons all the life, all the life out of you. Their sails just got shredded. And the ramifications of this, the fact that they've got two players on pistols, and if they don't win this round, they're busted. They are broke, they are bruised and battered, and currently getting splattered all over this A site. Shiz looking to turn the scales oh, back tiny. in the favor of MIBR. He could round this smoke, but he's gonna have to do what's left on his own. And he only has eight health in this 1v2. Down he goes. And now that his forum's starting to come up again, this is where he is an absolute threat. Yeah, Tabson's gonna have a shooting gallery here. A4, A4 doesn't do that. How about the AK? Versus just these pistols, it's gonna be MIVR chewed up. <laughs> Unless Yell has something to say about it. But he gets executed to Tapson's A1S. Now that only the A1S can do. Sliver shots through the squeak. I feel like the hope is there, but let's see. Big uh, have a five round win streak. Full buy in again for MIBR. Another attempt of it. Full out mid control here from the CT side and some damage in from Searson. I think that's on a jumping player. Oh! Oh my goodness gracious, Susan. He didn't. At least look him in the eyes before you do that to him, my man. Oh, he didn't. But he did. Oh, did he ever. Directly through the far corner of the box. And they definitely win mid off that. Plus the damage on Esagaze all the way in the back. Holy moly. That, that is just conviction. MIBR have been convicted and sentenced to death. Uh, more damage even before they can see anything met by an additional piece of smoke. Yeah, that, that smoke allows you to see it could rotate over, all over. And the, as soon as, like, you know, there's no more attention outside, they have full ramp control, like, boom. Like, this, this is when bigger. like, we know you're in lobby. Yeah. We know you're in lobby. We know you want to execute. You aren't doing anything else. You will die here or you will run out into a stack site. Oof, and that's exactly what's happening. So all these CT round wins as well have just been by elimination other than the pistol, which almost felt like a gifted bomb plant. We saw the setup offer it over. I do like that we're getting a bit more aggressive here, but I think Big are able to stand these types of tests comfortable here on Nuke. Searson having spotted a player cross through Garage, he's gonna give chase with his Deagle, and he's gonna go for the knife, turns it around and snaps into Shiz. How dare you execute them? Two players left to try and push out onto the ramp, and Tabson, he 